us at cfcprayerrequest1 at gmail.com or text 252-908-0100 and in person by simply filling out a prayer card and dropping it in the prayer box on the altar by minister's seating. Please observe all handicapped reserved seating for those in need of special care. And please, no food or drink in the worship center. Bottle water only. Thanks. Please do not leave personal items or trash in the seats. All unauthorized items left in the seats will be placed in the lost and found bin behind the welcome desk at the Connect Corner. Your cooperation is deeply appreciated. And remember, at the Connect Corner, CFC swag like hats, shirts, visitor bags, CFC cups and decals, monthly event calendars, church directories, sermon CDs, and books can all be picked up there. You can also register for home life groups and more, so be sure to visit our Connect Corner. Please share all online broadcasts on our Facebook page. Check us out online at cfcsandycross.com for great features including online giving and more. Download our ShareFaith app by picking up a copy of instructions for both Android and Apple at the Connect Corner on your way out today. Now, let's get ready to pray it in as we prepare to praise the roof off of this place. CFC, make some noise for Jesus! Hallelujah. Come on, come on. I heard the man say, praise the roof off the place. Come on here. You ought to be glad to be in the house of the Lord. You could have been anywhere else, but you decided to come and be in the house of the Lord. Oh, what a blessing. For the Bible declares, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in the mouth. We so are glad you came to be with us on this. Are you excited about Jesus? Hallelujah. You ought to act like it then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord. Will you pray with me? Gracious and merciful Father, we come before your presence, God. We come with thanksgiving. We come with praise. And most of all, we come with honor. You're such an awesome God. And God, as we enter into your presence, God, we ask that our flesh would die in your presence. That our spirit man would soar with the eagles, God. God, we're so thankful on this morning, God, that you allowed us to enter in, God. Mm. Have your way in this place, Holy Spirit. We welcome you into this place. And not only into this place, but into our hearts, God. Holy Spirit, do what you would like to do in this place, God. Father, we come asking, God, that you will make this atmosphere now conducive to miracle signs and wonders, God. For we stand in awe of your presence, God. For there's no other place we'd rather be, God, than in your presence. Knowing in your presence is fullness of joy, God. God, we come asking that you would anoint freedom on this morning, God. I want them, God, that the spirit of Judah will rest upon them, God. Fathers, for you said we need not fight the battle, for the battle is not ours, for the battle truly is the Lord, God. So we welcome you, God. We say transform us in your presence, God. And God, as your man's servant come to release your word into this place, God. God, let the fire of God fall from heaven, God. And consume everything that's not like you, God. God, until we're brought to ashes, God. And for those ashes, we come asking you to give us beauty, God. And we say, do it for your glory, God. Have your way in this place. And we'll be sure of a careful to give you the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. For truly, it's in the matchless name of Jesus we do pray. And all the saints of God said, hallelujah.
Welcome for Mr. Daniel Pearson. Amen. You laid down your perfect life. That's what you've done for us. You are the way, the truth, the life. And we're the spotless sacrifice. Jesus, you are for us. us, for us, Lord God, you are for us, it's in you, Jesus, that we trust, it's for us, for us, you shed your precious There's no other greater love for us. Yeah. For us. You're always on our side with your hand upon our life. Lord, you are for us. It doesn't matter what's against. You go with us until the end. That's who you are for us. Lord, for us. For us. Lord God. You 
giver of the breath we breathe, you are, Jesus, you are for us. You are everything, giver of the breath we breathe, you are, Jesus, you are. give us some grace, man. We're working some bugs out. But my man's here. He was appointed to be here. Amen. The Amen. Lord put him here for a season just like that. And I'm proud to have him up here. Amen. You know, God loves us so much, church, that he'll leave the 99 to get the one. And that's how much we mean to him. He seeks us out until he finds us. He sent his only son to take the most horrible punishment and death because that's how deep his love is for us. Amen. Hallelujah.
which is pulmonary ventricular contractions in her heart. And it, it disrupts the regular rhythm. Um, it's like extra heartbeats um, that begin in one of the hearts, two lower pumping chambers. And it affected her day-to-day, -day, triggering anxiety attacks. Um, so a lot of days um, she'd be at school and they would call me and I would have to get on the phone with her and talk her down. Um, the word of God to her um, but one Wednesday night here at church um, Mima which is uh, sister Tiffany's mother uh, she was obedient and she came to the altar and she prayed with my middle child and uh, she was healed that night she didn't have any more PVCs she didn't have any more anxiety attacks. And that's the God that we serve. He's still in the healing business. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I'm, oh, we love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. If you never did another thing for us, Lord, sending your son, Jesus, Lord, to die on that cross. Oh, thank you, Lord. You're just too good not to believe. You just did not believe. Hallelujah. I've lived stories 
down and proved your faith. Yeah. I've seen miracles yeah. my mind can comprehend. Hallelujah. There is beauty in what I can understand. Jesus is dear. Jesus is dear. The wonder-working God, the wonder-working God. All the miracles I've seen, too good to not believe. The wonder-working God, you heal because you love. All the miracles we'll see, too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Oh. I can't resurrect a man with my own hands. But just a mention of your name can raise the dead. So all the glory to the only one who can. Jesus is the end. Oh, I believe you're the wonder-working God. You're the wonder-working God. All the miracles we'll see, too good to not believe. You're the wonder-working God. You heal because you love. All the miracles we'll see, too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Oh, I believe you're the wonder-working God. You're the wonder-working God. All the miracles we we'll see. Too good to not believe. You're the wonder-working God. You heal because you love all the miracles we we'll see. Too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Too good to not believe. Oh. I should disappear. I seem broken bodies here. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. I see real life resurrection. I see mental health restored. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. I see families reunited. I see prodigals return. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Troubled souls delivered. I see that he's finally free. Don't you tell me he can do it. Don't you tell me he can do it. We see glory feel the change like the world has never seen. Don't you tell me he can do it. Cause I know that he can. Yes, I believe the wonder working God.
you tell me he can't do it? Don't you tell me he can't do it? I see real life resurrection. I see mental health restored. Don't you tell me he can't do it? Don't you tell me he can't do it? I seen families reunited. I seen private foes return. Don't you tell me he can't do it? Don't you tell me he can't do it? I seen troubled souls delivered. I seen addicts finally free. Don't you tell me he can't do it? Don't you tell me he can't do it? We'll see cities in revival. Thank you, Father God. First of all, I want to say I'm thankful for freedom worship, leading us in praise and inviting the presence of the Lord in. Because it says, when our praises go up, it's a sweet aroma in Him and it falls down. And it's just, this song was hit my soul heavy. It's too hard. It, you can't tell me. I, he's, he's too good to not believe. And I could, I could tell you this. I can tell you this because I've not only felt it in my soul, I've seen it with my physical eyes. I've touched it with my physical hands. He has healed me. He's delivered me. I've seen my family healed and delivered, and he will do the same for you. The, only, the key word is you have to believe. Faith activates that prayer. And I know in my, in my soul the last couple days, I felt... My yoke is easy, my burden is light. Some of y'all are going through some things that's too heavy for y'all. And it's too, it, mine was too heavy for me and my physical flesh. But when I surrendered and asked the Lord to carry me, when I grabbed, and, and also right now what's hitting my soul heavy is that woman with the issue of blood. For so many years she bled. But finally when she was healed, when she didn't let nothing stop her, that crowd around her. She wasn't nothing gonna let anything stop her from her breakthrough. She grabbed on the Lord or Jesus' coattails and didn't let go. 
And I encourage y'all, when you pray, don't pray for the storm to be removed. No, ask the Lord's will to be done through that storm, to transform you, to strengthen you. Because the storms are going to continue to come. They're going to continue to come in this, in this world. But again, the Lord has overcome the world. And um, again, I just encourage you to, to seek out the Lord and, and ask him for his will to be done. Not your will, his will. Can the ushers come up? Also, one more thing, we're supposed to learn from Jesus. He's our example. Before he went on that cross, that burden was too heavy for him. He asked, Father, 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 if it's your will, take this cup from me. But more importantly, he said, not my will, your will be done. And also, as far as giving, I've seen breakthrough blessing just being obedient and tithing. And it's when I started seeking his face, not his hand. Because I used to tie seeking his hand. And that's, that's just not right. He wants us to give out of the heart. And when you truly give out of your heart, he will give to you overflowing. It says the, flood, the floodgates of heaven will open up and your storehouse will be overflowing. That way that blessing is coming to you, but it's not about the blessing. It allows you to bless others and spread that blessing and be Jesus to this dark and fallen world. So there are plenty of ways you can give. You can give on the website, cfcsandycross.com. You can also give through the Share Faith app. Download instructions for Apple and Android are on the website and Facebook page. And you can also give through mail. Donation to Christian Fellowship Church, 7814 South NC Highway 58, Elm City. NC 27822. Again, thank you for your faithfulness during this difficult uh, time. You may give it this time.
Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord in this place. Uh, somebody ought to give the Lord a hand clap of praise. He's been just that good. Hallelujah. We thank God for freedom. Freed me. I did an awesome job ushering us into that place. Hallelujah. Come on and put those announcements up for me, guys. We got a few announcements in. How many are ready for the word? We're going to do a couple of announcements. We're going to jump in the word. Amen. All visitors, please turn in your visitor slips at the Connect Corner. If you're visiting with us this morning, we ask that you would just go to the Connect Corner. If you go out these double doors and go to the right, we have a Connect Corner over here in the corner. And we'd like to give you a gift. Is that all right? Amen. Books. Books by our pastor, Chance Walters and Frank Moore is available at the Connect Corner. If you haven't read them, I encourage you to read them. They're great reads. Bless my life. You read these books, I guarantee you, you will get in your Bible. It's so important for us to know what belongs to us as kingdom citizens. Amen. CFC Men's Fellowship, Cornhole has been counseled today. Y'all know what was going on. I shouldn't have gave y'all my secret last week and told y'all I was going to win the tournament. Y'all don't counsel the tournament. Nevertheless, it's going to be another day. <laughs> I got the Holy Ghost with me, Woody. That's my partner. <laughs> Parents and kids, it's that time again. VSB is coming to town August the 10th to the 13th. Sign up on Facebook and on Messenger, or you can see our director, Joy Meadows, at 252 813-0757. Get your kids in it. We want to raise our kids up in the Lord. Huh? That's our future. That's the future of the church. And we want them to grow up in the Lord. And we're going to share some things with them through this vacation Bible school. Amen. I got two more announcements. And then we're going to get in the word. I like to encourage all our members. We know we just had some deaths here. Our pastor father passed. Also, Patricia Whitfield, her visitation is going to be today at 6 o'clock at um, Cornerstone. So if you're not busy, please come and share in this. This was one of our dear sisters that was a greeter that stood at the door faithfully. We thank God for her life. We just thank God for her family. I had an opportunity to visit her. She was so full of joy. That's amazing. I can remember walking through the door of my first visit. And she just throwed her hand up. And I said, what you doing? Giving the Lord a wave offering. Oh, yeah. Also, the funeral will be Monday at 11 o'clock at Cornerstone. And also, we also have Wendy and Scott Hedgepet. Their father passed. And they're going to have the visitation today from 1 o'clock to 245. And they're going to move right on into the funeral, which is, starts at 3 o'clock. Please, if you can, get by there. Let them know that you love them and that you're praying for them. And if anything that you can do for them, be a blessing to them. These were some great soldiers. Yeah. It's going to be at Wheeler and Wolf Wolf Funeral Home. That's in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. If you don't have the direction, if you can get with one of our staff members, we can get you the address. Okay? Come on, stand to your feet. How many are ready for the word? Come on here. See, praise and worship get us into his presence. But we got a man to God in here that's been on the battlefield a mighty long time. And I know the Lord has put a word in his mouth. So without further ado, come on and welcome our pastor, Pastor Jerry Brazil, a general of the faith. Love you, man. Thank you, Pastor Tim. You may be seated. Truly today, it's a great honor and privilege to stand before you or anyone else to preach the Word of God. And I'm very conscious of where I stand this morning. That is not uh, by experience. Uh, amen. But it's by the anointing of God. I'm not going to speak great sweating words that will take your breath. 
but I am here to obey God. We want to thank each one for coming this morning. You passed many churches before you got here, and you could have stopped at any of those. But God placed a desire in your heart to be here this morning. And I can assure you a million years ago that God knew that we'd be all assembled in this place this morning. Not only did He know each one that was pre be present, but He would also know each and every need. And I believe I have a word this morning, and all of God's word is good and we all need it, but there may be some particular ones this morning that may be found in the place that I'll preach about this morning, and we'll trust in the day with God's help, amen, that all will be touched. You know, today I realize as I preach to you, I'm preaching to me. Amen. I've always said if I can't preach my own self happy, I can't preach nobody else happy. But the Holy Ghost is present here. It's not the man. It's not the water hose. But what it is, it's where the water is coming from. And I'm glad this morning, glory to God. Uh, Amen, that God is looking down. And I'm reminded, he said, glory to God, if you'll obey me, I'll open up the windows of heaven. i pour you out a blessing that you can't contain. Are you glad to be here this morning? Praise God, have you felt his presence thus far? I know we've already been moved by the singing, anointed singing and playing that we've heard this morning. And I count that as an appetizer. When you go get a steak, the first thing to do uh, is bring out a salad. And that gets you kind of stirred, amen, uh, for the steak. Uh, and so this morning I always said the singing stirs uh, our spiritual appetites. Uh, I hope you've come hungry this morning. Uh, uh, praise God because I tell you God's word, uh, not man's word, but God's word. Uh, uh, praise God can not only stir you, uh, uh, but God's word can fill you up. Uh, you can come in sad, disappointed, uh, this morning depressed, uh, uh, but you can leave with a song in your heart, uh, uh, praise God, and a dance in your feet, uh, because I want to tell you this morning, uh, uh, praise God, the Holy Ghost uh, uh, can surge through you, uh, uh, praise God, and make you feel something you haven't felt in years. Uh, I want to tell you today, glory to God, uh, amen, every time it lightens, it catches my attention. Uh, every time the Spirit of God moves, uh, uh, praise God, it catches my attention. Uh, I want you to turn with me this morning uh, in the Word of God to the book. Uh, uh, praise God, the first Chronicles. Uh, amen, the 11th chapter, the 15th verse. Uh, I've always said this. Uh, uh, praise God, if you got your gun loaded, uh, it don't take long to shoot it. Uh, uh, but if you got to look around for your bullets, you might be here all day. If you begin to say the same thing over and over, you are shooting blanks. But I, with God's help this morning, I want to put a spiritual puzzle together and the end results. Praise God that we'll be blessed, that God will be glorified this morning. First Chronicles 11, chapter 15, verse reads as thus. Said now three of the thirty captains, amen, went down to the rock to David into the cave of Uldaman and the host of the Philistines uh, encamped in the valley. And David was then in the hold uh, and the Philistine garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed. I want you to catch that. Uh, uh, David longed and said, Oh, that one uh, would give me to drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem uh, that is at the gate. And the three break through the host of the Philistines and drew the water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out unto the Lord and said, My God forbid it be me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. 
Therefore he would not drink it. <laughs> Praise God, these things did these three mightiest. <laughs> Precious Heavenly Father, <laughs> I pray as I stand over this assembly this morning. <laughs> Oh, God, that I'll not lack for any words or any thoughts. Oh, God, as I step out on the bridge of faith this morning, I praise God your word is already anointed. And I ask you to anoint me this morning. Anoint the listeners this morning that we might receive that blessing that is your intent for us to have. I pray, God, today that every word come out of my mouth, her Father will glorify you. And I pray that no one would leave hurting this morning or physically, spiritually, emotionally, or any way. But oh God, today that we'll be touched, not because I'm here, but because you're here in such a way, Lord, that we can all leave knowing of a surety that the Most High God has walked among us, that God has had his way. And Lord, we know when you have your way, all is well. And so we step out on the bridge of faith. Uh, once again, God, today to count on you uh, to do that that man cannot do. Uh, feed your sheep and may you be glorified today uh, in Jesus' holy name. Amen. <coughs> This morning, God being my helper, I want to preach to you on the thought this morning. Praise God, you got to walk over the devil. I thank God to get your blessing. You got to walk over the devil to get your blessing. If I were to ask you this morning, how many want a blessing? I believe everybody would raise their hand. But I may also ask you how many is willing. I praise God to fight for a blessing. I want to tell you this morning, God has always done his part, and he always will. I pray to God, but we got to come in here and do more than just sit down. No matter if Pastor Daniel's preaching, Pastor Tim preaching, or whoever it is, we got to do more than that. Then sit down. We got to own our hearts. We got to own our mind. Because you can rest assured this morning, the devil, he's going to do everything you can to block your mind put your mind on the outside pray to God and get your thoughts off the presence and the word of God this morning I know this is a little different preaching than what you're accustomed to but I've been doing this over 50 years and so this is not my first rodeo this don't make me a hero but I tell you one thing I know what it is to obey God pray to God we find in the word of God this morning and I want to show you the situation we find a great man by the name of David brother Chuck a man that loves God a man that was a military man a man that knew how to fight that knew how to war off the enemy I want to tell you this morning if you're walking down this Christian journey if you're going to survive glory to God you got to learn how to fight the devil how are we going to find him, Brother Jerry, with our fists? No. We're going to find him with the Word of God. When the devil came to Jesus, after he'd fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness and tried to lie and tempt him. Praise God, Jesus gave him the Word of God. Jesus said, It's written that man should not live by the Word of God alone. Or by the or praise is written that man should not live by bread alone, but rather by the word of God. I want to tell you this morning, praise God, if you hadn't found out yet, you're going to have some encounters with the with the devil. But I want to show you where David is this morning. With all his great strength and with all his great might and all that he's seen God done, we find that the devil has driven him to a place. A place called a cave. A place that he felt out isolated. A place glory to God that the enemy probably came to him and said, listen, what are you going to do now? The devil's cut you off and you can't get any help. I want to tell you this morning, you may be here today and you may feel like you're cut off. The devil's probably told you that nobody don't care. But I want to tell you this morning, God does care. I want to announce this morning that help's on the way. I want to tell you the 
today take your eyes off the darkness. Uh, uh, praise God. Psalmist David said uh, on one occasion, praise the Lord. Uh, I'll look into the hills from whence cometh my help. Uh, I want to announce to you this morning, uh, if you open your heart uh, and open your mind and spirit, uh, I want to tell you God uh, has already dispatched help. Uh, I want to tell you you may be going through a bad time, uh, but this is just one chapter in your life. Uh, uh, this is not the whole book. Uh, I want to tell you to God, uh, uh, glory to God, uh, uh, we are still on the winning side. Uh, uh, praise God as I stand before you this morning. Uh, and the devil said you can't preach today. Uh, you know that sciatic nerve has been bothering you all week uh, and you're going to start hurting uh, and you can't finish the service. Uh, uh, but I want to tell you this morning, uh, I'm standing in the power of God. Uh, I'm not standing in the power of man, but I'm standing in the power of God. Praise God, we find in the Word, the Bible teaches us that David had 30 captains. They were great men. They were mighty men, Brother Lemon. These were mighty men. Praise God, they had been well trained. I tell you, when God trains you, you're trained good. But Brother Jerry, did God come down physically train them? No. Uh, but God trained them through a man. Uh, uh, praise God had already walked the way and knew the way. Uh, uh, praise God and knew how to overcome. Uh, but no matter how strong you are in the Lord, uh, uh, no matter how long you've been serving God, uh, uh, there may come a time when you get down. Uh, uh, but I want to tell you, we don't have to stay down. Uh, God didn't save us uh, uh, to cast us aside. Uh, uh, praise God and forget us. Uh, uh, but he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. But Lord, I go with you always, even to the end of the world. Don't worry about it. I still know where I'm at. I'm still talking about up going to God, the captains of David, Pastor Tim. I pray to God, I see where three and not the whole 30. I see where three. I pray to God became concerned. I pray to God about David. I want to tell you, I'm glad in every church. Uh, that God still got some praying people. Uh, I'm glad that God still got somebody, Sister Presley, uh, uh, that can still call on God, uh, that will not forget those that are hurting. I'm reminded this morning there are many people hurting this morning. Uh, uh, praise God, they feel isolated and cut off. Uh, uh, praise God, but I want to tell you, somebody uh, is praying for you this morning. Uh, even though the devil tell you uh, uh, that nobody's praying for you, somebody's praying for you this morning. Uh, where would you and I be today uh, if somebody was not praying for us? Uh, I could still be staggering a drunk uh, uh, going up and down the street. Uh, but you see somebody prayed uh, uh, praise God and God moved uh, and God raised up a drunk to preach the word of God uh, uh, but brother Jerry I thought you'd always been a preacher no uh, I was born a sinner lived in sin uh, in sin for 27 years uh, uh, but God spoke to my heart uh, and I saw the love uh, uh, through the eyes of a little preacher uh, uh, praise God he didn't preach a great swelling message uh, uh, but he had so much love Loved. Uh, uh, praise God, all he said was, how you doing? Uh, but in that how you doing, uh, uh, Pastor Tim, I saw love. Uh, I saw a compassionate heart. Uh, uh, praise God, and I couldn't get away from that love. Uh, and I couldn't get away from that heart. Uh, uh, praise God, I want to tell you this morning, uh, are we showing love? Uh, are we affecting somebody's life? Uh, uh, praise God, I used to see uh, uh, some people that are preaching now. Uh, and Pastor Daniel was one of them, uh, he come out with a case of beer, uh, but I still speak to him. Uh, uh, praise God, I still invite him to church. Uh, uh, praise God, other people were praying, uh, and God got a hold of his heart. Uh, and right down here, I watched him as he came, right? He fought it uh, uh, for three weeks and fell down in the altar there, uh, and he gave his heart to God. Uh, I want to tell you, glory to God, uh, as I told somebody this morning, uh, a man looked on the 
outer appearance, uh, but God looking on the heart. Uh, I want to tell you, glory to God today. Uh, I don't care where you're being, what you're doing, uh, or where you're going. Uh, God loves you this morning. Uh, God's got an answer for you. Uh, don't look at the past, but look at the future. Uh, you cannot change your past, uh, but what we can change is our future this morning. Uh, I pray God we can walk with God and talk with God. Uh, how we may not understand everything uh, uh, but the old song said I don't need to understand uh, I just need to hold his hand uh, I don't ever need to ask the reason why uh, cause I know my God will make a way uh, uh, through the night and through the day uh, I don't need to understand uh, but I just need to hold his hand uh, I ask you this morning are you holding his hand uh, can you feel him today uh, uh, but praise God you might not be but I want to tell you if you could see through the vision eye you see God's arms and God's hand reaching down he wants to encircle us all this morning praise God and remind us of how much he loves us we find in the scripture these three mighty men praise God they knew David praise God was missing and the scripture teaches us they went down to the rock to David the Bible said David was was in a hole. Um, and a cave is a dark, cold place. Um, a cave, glory to God, is a place um, that you don't see everything on the outside. Um, uh, praise God, it's got to be very gloomy. Uh, it's got to be very depressing. Uh, uh, praise God, and they knew. Uh, uh, praise God that David needs some help. Uh, uh, there's people in this community, in your family and around, uh, amen, that needs some help this morning. Uh, uh, praise God, but we find uh, the Bible teaches us there was a host of Philistines I uh, uh, praise God camped and camped in the valley uh, I want to tell you the devil would like to encamp uh, about each one of us this morning uh, he wants to surround us I uh, uh, praise God that we can't get a blessing from God uh, he wants to surround us where we won't have any contact uh, with anybody else uh, he wants to surround us where there be nobody there to encourage us uh, how important it is uh, that we come to church uh, uh, praise God and fellowship one with another uh, that we can encourage one another uh, sometimes I'm going to need encouraging uh, sometimes you're going to need encouraging uh, and praise God and God can speak a word uh, uh, through any of us this morning that will lift up somebody else uh, you know the Bible teaches us uh, that Christian uh, the word Christian means Christ like uh, and every where that Jesus went uh, he wanted to help somebody uh, praise God I find David uh, uh, down in that hole in that dark place uh, uh, praise God but in that place uh, Pastor Tim he remembered something uh, uh, praise God I want you to see him uh, he's mentally tired uh, he's spiritually tired uh, he's thirsty uh, uh, probably no place there for him to get water uh, and he began to think uh, Suddenly it popped up in his mind, you know what? I know where there's a well. Uh, praise God, he remembered the well uh, there by the gate of Bethlehem. Uh, he had tasted that water before Pastor Tim. Uh, called to God and he knew how refreshing it was. Uh, he said, and the Bible teaches us uh, that he longed for a drink of that water. Uh, I want to tell you, praise God, uh, when you're really thirsty, the only thing uh, will satisfy the natural thirst of the water. Uh, uh, praise God, if you're really spiritual thirsty, the only thing can satisfy you is the Spirit of God. Amen. There's some sitting among us this morning. I praise God. Amen. It's been a long time since you drank from the spiritual well. I want to, come, I want to example this, explain this, the water that was in the well like the spiritual well. But you see, David was in a place. He couldn't go get it on his 
song, Brother Stacy. Yeah, but somebody loved him enough. Uh, uh, praise God. They said by the actions, uh, there's just three of us, uh, and there's a host of them. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I believe they said within itself, with God's help, uh, uh, praise God, we can break through. Uh, I'm talking about breaking through. Uh, Sometimes you got to break through. Uh, I call the devil wants to block off uh, you from getting in that spiritual well. Uh, he like to get it fixed uh, where you'll never be able to go again. Uh, I remember years ago priming the back of, uh, come on the field my granddaddy uh, had a well down in the barnyard with a bucket you sent down. Uh, we sent it down, bring it back up, uh, drink that water that run down my chest. Uh, and I want to tell you that was good. Uh, but I want to tell you the first time I ever drank uh, of uh, that spiritual water, uh, uh, praise God, that was so much better. Uh, uh, praise God. And so, uh, uh, they had to make up the mind. Uh, are we going to let David thirst to death? Uh, uh, praise God, are we going to step out on faith? Uh, uh, praise God, there are many stepping out on faith this morning. Uh, not only are they blessing themselves, uh, uh, but they're blessing somebody else. Uh, uh, praise God, we find uh, that the Bible said, uh, and David he said, if, oh, if one would give me a drink, uh, how the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. Uh, every time he closed his eyes, he could see it. Uh, do you remember the first time you ever felt the Holy Ghost? Uh, do you remember how good it was? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you ain't never felt it. Uh, but if you haven't felt it, it's time to feel it. Because uh, I want to tell you, there's a difference between the Holy Ghost uh, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, why do you say that, Brother Jerry? Uh, because the Apostle Paul uh, asked those um, said, have you uh, received the baptism uh, of the Holy Ghost? He didn't say Holy Spirit. Uh, said, have you seen the, received the baptism uh, of the Holy Ghost since you believed? Uh, and they said, we ain't had so much of heard of it. Uh, uh, we were baptized with water, uh, uh, but we were not baptized with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I want to tell you, the Holy Ghost uh, is a third part of the Godhead. Uh, you see this nose this morning? Uh, yeah, I'm representing this. This is like God the knows uh, Jesus is on the right hand of the Father uh, and the Holy Ghost is over here uh, on the other side uh, and so my beloved this morning uh, uh, praise God we need the Holy Ghost uh, uh, praise God we find uh, the Bible said they break through the host uh, now it was not easy uh, uh, amen it was not easy uh, uh, but something that needed to be done uh, uh, praise God amen we find uh, I pray to God they broke through the hosts of the Philistines and they themselves amen drew water out of the well I pray to God somebody had to be fighting five one was drawing water I pray to God there were only three of them I pray to God so it would take a real test and a real trial and a real determination did you know if you got a real determination to serve God this morning nothing can ain't stopping. Uh, uh, praise God, if you got a real determination uh, and you'll walk with God and talk with God, uh, uh, don't you ever give up uh, when the devil comes to you and tell you to give up. Uh, uh, praise God, you need to look up. Uh, uh, praise God and say, God's still on my side uh, and I'm still on God's side uh, and I know that no matter what happens, I'm going to make it. Uh, uh, praise God uh, uh, because God's word declares that we're going to make it. Uh, uh, praise God with his help. Uh, I see him as they got that water uh, and I believe that was precious to him, Brother Tim, uh, uh, because they break through uh, but they had to fight the way back. Uh, I don't believe the Philistines uh, uh, tried to uh, uh, just lay down, uh, but I believe they fought them on the way back. Uh, you got to fight going in, you got to fight when you go out. Uh, when you go out that door, you still don't have to fight. Uh, when you come in, you you're going to have to fight. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, uh, but they took care of that water uh, because they knew the value of it. Uh, uh, praise God. And they wanted to carry it to somebody uh, that they loved this morning. Uh, I want to tell you, we need to be aware. Uh, uh, praise God and not take for granted uh, the house of God uh, or the pastors that God has assigned here. Uh, uh, praise God to bring us that spiritual water uh, because it's not always easy. 
I praise God for them to dig. I praise God to get that water. You just don't sit down and say, I believe I preach this so I preach that. But you got to seek God. And when you find the right message, I praise God, God to speak to your heart. I praise God, they got the water in the hand. I praise God, but David's still in the hold. It wouldn't have been any good if he couldn't brought, they didn't bring it back to him. And so, my beloved, they're on the way back. They're fighting all the way back. They're careful not to spill one drop. I believe, you know, the Bible teaches us, I praise God, amen, that we need to hold on to every word. I praise God, amen. And so we find, as they go back, they are tired. I praise God, but they didn't give up because they were tired. They knew the mission. Do you know the mission that you're on this morning? Did you know, are you reminded that God's called you and everyone here, God has set you on a mission? I praise God. God to work. God's got to work for you. God's got a plan for your life. I praise God. Your plan may not be what you think as big as somebody else's plan. But we're not in this for competition this morning. We're in this thing to glorify God. And we are not one, but we are a team together. I praise God. Has it been said? I praise God about the great redwood trees in California. The reason they live to get so old and they don't blow down is because the roots intermingle with one another. One tree holds up another and that tree holds up another. So as we bind our spirits and our minds and our soul and become together as one, I want to tell you the wind may blow, it may howl, but we can still stand. Now, my beloved, I find in the scripture they brought the water back. Amen. And David would not drink of it. Now, my beloved, I think David, David did a noble thing. The Bible said he took it and poured it out for he remembered the great price. Amen. That was prayed to get that water. I remember the great price that Jesus paid. The Bible said it came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And I'm not condemning David. He poured it out. But Jesus didn't die on the cross for me to pour out my blessings. Amen. He died on the cross that I will be blessed. And so when my blessing comes, I praise God, Brother Jerry, I'm not going to pour it out. I'm going to receive it. I'm going to count it as being from God. I'm going to thank God for it. I praise God and I'm going to know that I'm not to take God's blessings for granted. But remember that he loved me so much. I praise God. He wanted me to have that blessing. I praise God. Do you need a blessing this morning. Do you want a blessing this morning? I praise God. Well, I tell you, my beloved, I can't give you a blessing, but the one here that's with me, that's speaking through me, can. I want you to stand with me this morning. I want you to stand with me this morning. I'm talking with somebody. You used to stand at the hall and cry and lift your hands and praise God. And the Holy Ghost would get all over you. You would empty your heart out. I praise God and it's been a while. Some of somebody is shut up this morning. You feel like you're cut off. You're shut up today. You've not felt the power of God like you want to feel it. It's been a long time since you read came to the all of God and poured out your heart and said I God I'm here it don't matter how many people are around me but I'm here for a blessing this morning and God I want to come and empty my heart did you know psychiatrist makes hundreds of dollars an hour just for you to pour out your heart well this morning God don't go to charge you nothing if you're in this place this morning and you say brother Jerry I need to come 
welcome to that spiritual well. I want you to leave your seat this morning. I want you to come. I pray with you, Pastor Tim. I pray with you, Brother Roger. Pray with pray with you. Others will pray with you this morning. But you say, Brother Jerry, and being on honesty and all truth this morning, I needed this message because I haven't touched God recently like I really need to touch Him. I want you to feel free to leave your seat this morning. Come to this all of God and let us pray for you today. The devil said you don't need it. The devil's trying to block you off. The devil don't want you to leave blessed, but the devil wants you to leave a mess. Baby, you're here this morning. You've never given your heart to God. And through the singing, her praise God, and through the praying, and through the preaching, God showed you your spiritual mirror. You looked into it, and you saw things are not right between you and God. I invite you to the altar this morning. Not going to hold it all day. With every head bowed and every eye closed. But I tell you this morning, if you leave out of this church and God decides to send the death angel for you, you're going to see this all the call forevermore. If you leave this church this morning and you backslide on God, because even though he had a well of spiritual water waiting, you said, I'll, I'll do okay. Let me tell you something this morning. You can't make it on your own. You can't even breathe on your own this morning. Praise God. Anyone at all, before I turn it over to Pastor Tim, I need a blessing this morning. I'm down in spirit. I'm down in spirit. I'm down in spirit. Come on, stand right here and let us pray for you this morning. Praise the Lord. Someone else this morning. <clears throat> now, I don't know these young men's lives, but God knows them, and it don't matter. Hey everybody, Pastor Daniel Parker here with Assistant Pastor Tim Hall. Thank for tuning in this week and watching this live stream broadcast, or if you're watching it recorded later on, we thank you. We want you to share it with everybody that you can. Hit like. Tell us something in the comments if we're reaching you. And if you're in driving distance, we would love to have you right here at Christian Fellowship Church on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Come early for coffee and fellowship, and then we're going to have some of the best praise and worship music you'll hear anywhere and series preaching straight from the Word of God. And then on Wednesday nights, we have our weekly Bible study at 7 p.m., and we got all kinds of things going on Sunday evenings, life groups, men's and ladies fellowship, as well as our all-new Kingdom Couples Marriage Ministry. We love you. We want you to, to sow into the church, be a part of the church. Come on. We love you. If you got saved today, you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart, then we want you to message us right here on our page, and we will call and pray for you. Again, thank you for tuning in today. Pastor Tim, what say you to the wonderful people out there that's tuned in today? We pray if this message has reached you, because we're all about kingdom vision. Amen. Come see us. Well, you, we got a seat just for you. We love you. We thank you. And just continue to keep your faith in God's unchanging hand. And we enjoyed you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless.